how to produce music and grow a fan base on autopilot. If you're a recording artist and you wanna fully produce your own music so you can achieve creative freedom and you wanna have fans inbound messaging you wanting to hear your songs, then this video is for you. I've been doing music for 13 years and I've been producing my own music as a recording artist for eight years. I learned music production on YouTube kind of like what you're trying, and it was super difficult. It's also taken me tons of time, energy, attention, and money to learn how to effectively grow a fan base the right way so I can attract new fans, nurture the relationship with those fans, and turn them into paying customers of my music. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to fully produce your own music and start attracting five to 10 new fans per day messaging you wanting to hear your songs. So let's hop into the computer and get started. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to produce your own music and attract and grow a loyal fan base on autopilot without needing to know music theory, killing yourself, creating tons of content, hoping to go viral and needing to be a slave to getting Spotify streams. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through my Rapid Fire Music Academy client success journey. This is the exact process that I take my clients through in my mentorship program. It's really simple four step, four phases. Gear up, producing, mixing, mastering, and I'm gonna walk you through the music social funnel. But before I dive into all that, just so you get a little bit of sense about me so you know that I'm able to help you, I'll go through this really quick. My story is I started doing music in 2011, I was only able to write lyrics and record vocals. Then I learned music production on my own on YouTube, kind of like what you're trying. I made it work, but it took me four hours per day of watching videos and practicing for four years straight to get great at producing. So it was super difficult, um, but it's changed my life to be able to produce my own music. I've been able to grow my fan base. I've even got invited to speak at some really cool events like the Indie Artist Summit, which was hosted by Billy Big Shots. Um, it's also afforded me the opportunity, since I don't have to spend money on songs, I can actually spend money investing in the growth of my music career and my fan base. These are a couple of the songs that have done really well for me. And I've also been able to work on growing my actual social following, which is translated into real fans. I think from basically year zero to year 12 of my career is how I got from zero to 10,000 followers. But uh, from 2023 to now, which is August of 2024, I went from 10,000 followers to now 35.5 thousand followers. And uh, I just want to show here this little chart in the last 90 days. So from May 10th to August 7th, uh, I've grown about 2.9 K followers. It's about a hundred, it's about a thousand new followers per month, which if you break that down, I don't know the math, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of fans. Basically it's a thousand new fans per month and this is me spending a lot of money on on paid advertising and so it's been great because i'm able to afford to do that because i don't need to pay for music i can do all of the music myself and then i can take that money time energy and attention that i waste waiting for other people to produce for me and i can put it into the marketing of my music now views and streams those are super cool but you want to know what's really 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 cool let me show you now, what I'm showing you here is screenshots of actual messages that I've had from fans who have come inbound wanting to hear my songs like Aaron Heckler, him saying, hey, I'm 100% behind this track. I really enjoyed the variety of different styles. Chandler, he's also someone who bought a CD from me. Definitely can tell you're starting to really find your sound. Thought it was dope. Can't even lie. Erica Watkins got into probably close to the first minute. You had my heart. It was a wonderful whirlwind of affirmations and truth. Everyone should hear you. Um, here's a handwritten note I wrote to one of my uh, customers of my CD. This is from Erica Ramona. Um, she said, yeah, let's hear it. I sent her over the song. She said, okay, you rock. Here's one of my fans also who bought a CD. I said, thanks. Have you checked it out? He's like, I play it every morning on the way to work. Um, here's another fan named David who came in wanting to hear my song. I sent it over. Great song. Got into a conversation. Oops. Got into a conversation with him. And so I can just keep going on and on and on. These are just a few messages that I've gotten from people, um, but I've gotten hundreds and really thousands of messages of folks inbound wanting to come and hear my songs. Here's what's also really cool. This CD is awesome. Keep it up. You are doing an awesome job. These are also people who have come in from those same ads and actually bought my music. Like, yeah, a physical fucking CD. Like, excuse my language, but how crazy how crazy is that, right? That in the modern day, people are still willing to support artists and pay for music. Coming through, always bringing something new. 
do If you know my mama or my girl then I love you this is a kid whose dad bought my CD, they play the CD in his car, and the kid knows the words to the song. So when it comes to growing a fan base, and when it comes to actually doing things the right way, it starts with learning how to produce your own music so that you can effectively release more songs and own the rights to them, and that makes it so much easier to then implement something like what I have, which is called the Music Social Funnel. I don't share any of this with you to brag, obviously, okay? I'm sharing this with you because I truly believe that the younger version of myself is watching this video right now and needs to know for a strong fact that there is a mentor out there specifically for them to show them that it is possible to live the life they dream of. So let's dive into each one of these individual stages of my Rapid Fire Music Academy client success journey. Phase one is gearing up, really simple. You just need a few things to be able to fully produce your own music. We start with mindset, then hardware that you need and software. I'm gonna keep it extremely you know, high level for you guys today, but I will give you a hint. You don't need expensive gear. I'll tell you that. You need a computer, microphone, audio interface. You don't need speaker and headphones. You don't need speakers. You don't need a MIDI keyboard. Simple as that. Software is also really simple. I won't go into all the nitty gritty, but it's not a lot. I will tell you that all the softwares I have are subscription basis and it costs less than what I pay for gas every month. So if you're willing to invest in your career and learn how to produce your own music, the software is not that expensive. After that, we get into the producing phase. Really simple how we do it. It's three, state, it's three steps, melody, drums and bass, arrangement. With melody, I show you how to make melodies without needing to know music theory. We use series of sampling and loops so that you don't actually need to know music theory to be able to put great melodies together. Then I show you how to create the drums and the bass. Then I show you how to arrange the song into sections so it's a song you're excited to write lyrics and record to. It's really funny because a lot of artists I talk to in the DMs are really afraid to start producing. They think it's really hard. To be honest with you guys, it can be really complicated when you're trying to learn on your own. But what I found with working with tons of different recording artists in my mentorship program, producing is the easiest and most fun and is the thing that people get the most addicted to. So don't be afraid of it. It is totally possible for you to be able to produce instrumentals that you really love. After that, we get into phase three, which is mixing mastering. First, we start with vocals, then mixing, then mastering. With vocals, I show you how to set up your vocal preset once and then always have your vocals sounding pro. Then I show you how to mix, which is basically having your song come together, sound cohesive, balanced, and crispy, and get to that high quality level. Then mastering is making your song sound great across every speaker system, whether it's in the car, off the iPhone or headphones, um, earbuds, live on stage. Mastering is the stuff that you're gonna need to do so that your song competes with every other song out there, okay? Now, the this final phase, phase four, is the music social funnel. To me, this is where we really start to take off and ascend our career, and I'm gonna actually go into a, a, into a, a diagram that I've drawn, but I wanna break down the three steps of this first. It's really simple how this works. First, attract, then nurture, then convert. When it comes to attracting fans, Obviously, we need to be able to go find where our fans are and have them come to us and attract them to our music, our brand, and basically to our personality. Then we wanna be able to nurture the relationship with those fans effectively and then convert those fans into paying customers. So let me go and jump into the diagram of what the music social funnel actually looks like so we can dive even deeper into this. This is the music social funnel. I drawn this up to make it really simple to understand for you. Now, basically starting here at the top, everyone, this is the entire world, right? And so what we wanna do is attract those people into our world, into seeing us, nurture the relationship, convert them, and there actually is a step four, which is basically ascending those people. And I'm gonna break down every single one of these steps. So here's basically what I've seen happen. There's a bunch of different ways. In fact, let's do this. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. Let's just start with the attracting phase, AKA the top of the funnel. Basically what I do is I run a really simple paid advertisement that attracts your ideal fans to message you. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. Essentially, you've probably seen this from all the research you've done on your own. The music industry at large pretty much stops here. Have you noticed that? Most people in most YouTube marketing gurus, this is their whole, oops, this is really their whole thing. That's it. And then they don't really go much further than that. They talk about Spotify, they talk about playlisting, 
Um, they, they talk about TikTok going viral, posting content, all those things. I've tried every single one of those things. I've spent, like I said, tens of thousands of dollars and a lot of my time, energy, and attention. Guys, just to save you the trouble, by far running this simple paid advertisement, right? So yes, I do teach how to run paid ads. Running a simple paid ad that attracts your ideal fans to want to message you is by far the easiest, simplest, most effective way to actually grow. After that, we get into the next stage, which is nurturing. Now, when it comes to nurturing our fans, the way I do it is there's a couple of different elements. Number one, there is content that you're going to want to run to stay top of mind. So I'm not saying you shouldn't be posting content and that there isn't some kind of an organic strategy to this. The, the idea with the organic is the content is used to nurture people that already follow you. I don't personally love relying on content at the top of the funnel. I don't want to just post content and hope that it goes somewhere here at the top of the funnel. I like my content to be nurturing people who already follow me. We also, once you get a little bit more advanced and your audience is big enough, you can run what's called retargeting ads. You don't need to start with that. That's for when we get a little bit more advanced. But the coolest part about being able to nurture the relationship with your fans is because they've already sent you a message, you now have permission to have a convo in the DMs to build the relationships. Guys, it all goes down in the DMs. Easily, you can do Facebook Messenger, you can do Instagram. You know, I've, I've really done both. I love doing everything on Instagram because you can really build a nice warm audience there. So point being, this is why it makes this strategy so powerful because once we go from the top, right, which is attracting those fans, then nurturing the relationship in the DMs, we go into converting the bottom of funnel, which is converting those fans into sales and you guys saw that you saw my proof um, of where I was actually selling albums to my fans but you can sell merch albums obviously you can get to doing live shows once you've built a big enough audience you can find pockets of where your fans are at and go do live shows you can also even sell membership sites right so, or, me, or access to a private membership that you have to continue to nurture the relationship so this is how all this works and then the final phase you know, once you started to really, really, really grow this thing, you're going to get into the last phase, which is ascension, repeat customers and word of mouth. That's through email, through text, calling them in that same membership platform. You can do a discord. Um, I love discord or a free Facebook group. There's so many different things that you can do. But the point is when you run a strategy like this, right? Like this music social funnel, you can predictably attract new fans that are actually they are messaging you to wanting to hear your music that's powerful it's not a hey hope i go viral listen to my new song oh breakup song of the summer trying to put those fucking trendy little um word captions on the screen hoping you go viral hoping people check out your music no fuck that I don't want to leave my music career and my, my music business up to chance or up to an algorithm. That's why I love running paid ads. Yeah, it costs money to run paid ads, but let me, let me ask you this. What music artist out there has grown really, really big without putting money into their career? Nobody, nobody. So you're gonna need to run paid ads one way or another. You might as well do it and you can start right now. So that's why this strategy works. You run paid ads, you can organically use content to nurture and then have combos in the dms then you can use that as an opportunity to sell people offers and then ascend those people and then once you start ascending people that's when this whole thing starts to cycle back so here's your options right now that you actually have this information and you understand the framework you've got two options number one you can go figure all this out on your own right you can try and figure all of these things on your own try to learn how to produce instrumentals mix and master and learn how to attract fans coming to you messaging you wanting to hear your songs all from free information on the internet let me tell you i tried doing that and it's taken me over 13 years or you can do option two, which is book a call down below to speak with me or my team about joining Rapid Fire Music Academy and learn all of this in literally just 90 days. And by the way, even if it takes you a little longer than 90 days, it won't cost you any extra money to stay in my program and allow me and my team to support you because we do have a guarantee associated with our program. So if you want to exit off this video and just try to go figure this out, go ahead, I'll be my guest. That's great. I, I, I think you're a smart person and you're probably going to be able to do it. If you just want further support and further information, or you really don't just want information, but you want me and my team to hop in and help you, 
here's the three things guaranteed if you do choose to join my program. Number one, you're gonna have at least one song fully produced by you that you're excited to release. Number two, you're gonna have all the tools, skills, and resources to be able to fully produce your own songs for the rest of your career. And number three, you're gonna have a music social funnel campaign implemented to start attracting five to 10 new fans per day, messaging you to wanna hear your music that can turn into paying customers of your music. And like it says here at the bottom, if all three of these things are not fulfilled in 90 days, we will continue to work with you for free until they are. Here is some client results from working with me in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. Uh, Ryan B started working with me with no production experience, then finished 30 beats and recorded five songs in 90 days. Devin used to pay over $1,000 per song. He's finished three full songs in the 90 day program. That means fully uh, produced, written, recorded, mixed, mastered by him. Uh, and she was actually my first ever client. She used to take three months to make a song. Then she produced two songs in eight weeks. Then using the music social funnel, she wanted to be actually a producer. So she started running the music social funnel and landed seven custom production clients in 30 days. Now she makes 4K a month in her production business. Carlos had never ever made a single song. He ended up producing and writing his first song in five weeks and in 90 days produced 20 instrumentals, three recorded songs and one song fully mixed and mastered. And he's been dropping a new song every single month. Uh, Austin B had only released one song before working with me and in the 90 days he's produced 23 instrumentals produced and recorded five full songs and released his first self-produced song now he's doing a new song every month uh, Jaden had never finished and released a song at all got his first self-produced song in 56 days now he released shit I'm behind it says five but he's done actually I think seven but he's putting out a new song every month as well Anthony used to buy beats on BeatStars, finish his first self-produced song. He's a break dancer. Um, and he used to kind of mix and master a little bit, or he actually only used to record and mix. Now he fully produces his own music as well. So these are all my client results. And I've got a lot more client results as well, but this is kind of, you know, just want to, in the sake of time, just kind of show you the main ones. Hopefully this seems like a good fit for you. If it does, great. Would love to hop on a call and see what we can do to help. With that being said, if you do choose to book a call with me, that's great. I look forward to our call. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Peace.